My name is Matt Fernandez. And I am Brian Weinstein. Today we'll be talking about a new method to simulate fluids that was introduced in 1970 called the Lattice Boltzmann Technique. The basic idea is that we track hopping particles on a lattice that jump in a specified direction. The fields of fluid mechanics, like pressure and velocity, are extracted from the hoppers. The technique is embarrassingly paralyzable because most in interactions are local. Thus, very few non-local memory lookups are needed per iteration. We created a lattice Boltzmann simulation of pipe flow around arbitrary obstacles in Python, Cython, and OpenCL. The performance of lattice Boltzmann techniques is typically measured in terms of MLUPs, or million lattice updates per second. We profiled our code. Python obtained around 0.5 MLUPs, Cython obtained about 5, and OpenCL running on a GPU obtained about 325. Commercial software can obtain about 1,500 MLUPs on the hardware we use, so we didn't do too bad. Relative to naive Python code, we obtained a 650x improvement in speed. We verified that our simulations were accurate by comparing our results to the well-known solution of a fluid flow in a pipe. We made our simulations dimensionless and verified that increasing the resolution made the model converge to the theoretical solution. Let's look at some of our results. We begin by creating a pressure difference across a pipe and watching how the fluid in the pipe responds. The fluid flows from left to right. We see the expected behavior around the obstacle. As the fluid speeds up, the wake behind the obstacle increases. Eventually, we see vortex sheets form. This is a well-known phenomenon. These are called von Karman vortex sheets. We use COMSOL, a different fluid mechanics solver, to verify that we should see this behavior. Wow, that's awesome! The lattice Boltzmann technique can be used to study flow around weird obstacles as well. Yes indeed! Here we watch a flow develop around the CS205 obstacle in a pipe. In comparison to most lattice Boltzmann code, ours is easy to read and object oriented. Both of us have plans to build on this package in the future. It should be easy to get a 10% performance increase in our code, but after that we'll have to dig deep to find the bottleneck.